Neil, uh, one one draw away from home against a side in banging form. What's your reaction to the result? Yeah, I think before the game, you know, you talk about one one and or taking a point, yeah, you would have said probably would do, but I've got to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture was the performance. The first half we were poor. You know, we didn't do we didn't do everything that you know that we that we have been doing. We weren't getting close to men. It was too easy to go past us, um, and we just weren't on the front foot at all. Um, had a couple of good chances, um, which we didn't take, but we were just too lax a daisy. And, and today's come, I just wasn't happy at all. Um, you know, at half time we, we talked about getting higher up the pitch, we talked about getting the ball into Bobby a bit more. Um, we talked generally um, about our performance. Um, in the second half, I thought we improved. We had two great chances before we actually did score. Um, I just said to the lads, you know, when you've got an opportunity, Bobby was dominating, you know, and if you're going to get the ball like we did for the goal, just before the goal, he's won, we put a ball in, he's knocked it down, and Harvey's come onto it, which is great stuff. I mean, just looking for the finish. Um, and then the goal, it's exactly the same. It's into him, bits and bobs, great finish by Sol. But we stopped doing it then. So, if it's something successful, but well, everyone's now got this Man City way of playing, haven't they? And you think you should have 50, 60, 70 passes. Why do that? You know, we're playing in the Northern Premier League. If you find a way to get the ball from A to B, and hopefully into C, which is the goal, carry on doing it. Um, and I just thought we over elaborated and um, they came into it. Obviously, I was about to make a sub um, when we lost our goalkeeper, um, which didn't help. Um, but overall, as I say, a point away. And Elkston, as you say, in, in good form, um, keeps our run going. But generally, first half um, in particular, I wasn't happy with the performance. Yeah, you mentioned that you guys obviously switched a bit at the, sec at the second half, got the goal, maybe didn't push on. But you must be happy the way your side defended, particularly at the end, to hang on to that point, particularly with Luke Hutchinson going down as well. Yeah, obviously losing the goalkeeper, they were throwing bigger and bigger players on, um, and we weren't, you know, we weren't the biggest. Hence the reason why I was about to change it um, just before um, Luke got injured. Well, as Luke got in. Doyle was ready, to step ready to come on. I was going to go three at the back, bring Chris on with his pace and uh, sorry with his height, and then you know move us up the pitch and use Joe's, Joe's pace out wide on this right hand side. Um, fortunately, that never materialised um, because of the injury. But generally, um, as I say, I think with the points, let's not be too um, too disappointed. You know, let, let's not be too harsh. And the fact that I'm being harsh is I know that, I know they've got it in you know in spades. You know that um, commitment that. It's, that drive, and um, we've shown it against Worksoft, um, we've shown it in all the other games, but today it eluded us for 45 minutes, and we can't go through games um, or halves um, playing like that. And uh, just finally, for me, we obviously mentioned Luke Hutchinson, Louis White appeared to be struggling a bit coming off. Any update on how, how, how those guys are? Well, Freddie Sass is still injured from, um, yeah. he had to come off with the same injury as what he came off with um, in midweek. LFC United, so that's not good. Obviously, Louis White had a kick on the ankle. Um, Luke Hutchinson looks like it's the same. For Luke to come off, it must have been a bad one. I didn't think there was a need to make the tackle, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, you know, the, the only positive thing is we don't play for 10 days now, so, or nine days, we're 10 days. Um, and then we play Everton, and then we play Radcliffe. So, we've got a, few, a bit of time to hopefully get a few back. Um, as I say, Chris Doyle today has been carrying knocks and playing. We've been trying to rotate him and Josh um, to try and get them both fit and hopefully again this 10 days off now will give us an opportunity to, to get a few back um, you know fully fit for the for the running. Cheers. Thank you.